Hey guys, Metal Crow again, and today I wanted to talk about what happens when you reach level 10 and some more combat tips and game tips I discovered along the way. I know the last video seemed a little long, so I'm going to try my best to compress this info as much as possible. Okay, so let's go. As soon as you hit level 10, you unlock the ability to do Nemeten. Nemeten is a cool looking blood tree where three monsters will show up upon completion, allow you to receive parts of a three part daily bonus gain of gold, a good amount of EXP, and a lot of crafting items. When you fight these monsters, it's one after the other. Your health regains between each fight, and you get to keep your spell meter as well, so you can keep keep your spell capped at the end of the second mob, and then open the fight of the strongest monster with your spell. After you win the Nemeton, a cooldown will begin of 8 hours, during which time the cooldown is also shared between other Nemeton. There is an item you can use called Bloodbait. Bloodbait is the same price of an EXP scroll, but instead of summoning 4 level 1s and 1 level 2, it allows you to just run Nemeton again instantly. This doesn't reset the Nemeton cooldown, so if you had only 20 minutes to wait, pop a Bloodbait and run it again, it will still say 18 minutes or so left to run it again. Whether or not this is better to get than an EXP scroll is disputed. I could see this being better if you can't instantly run the Nemeton again. If summoning scrolls cause mobs to eventually disappear, then this wins, but if other Nemeton trees do not share the instant mob summon, then it's hard to say. Moving on to combat and the skill tree, once you hit level 10, you unlock the next tier of learnable skills in all three trees. In combat, you can learn precise blows, crushing blows, and fleet footed. Both precise and crushing blows give instant returns. The boost in critical meter is noticeable and will help a bunch even if you aren't pure combat tree. Fleet footed, however, is different. You won't notice a huge increase unless you max out fleet footed as the increase in damage reduction is only 2% per level, capping out at 10%. So I would only recommend capping this if you plan on perfecting both parry and perfect parry. You know what, scratch that, go ahead and cap it. In the alchemy tree, we unlock fixative, cat, and steady aim. Fixative is like fleet-footed, many tier increase with only 2% increase to critical hit damage when landing a crit. Cat unlocks the regent to craft the potion cat, 75% increase to damage when hunting at night, and lastly, steady aim throwing bombs takes a lot less time. Use your own judgment on these if you want. I feel personally that fixative and steady aim are more so for a way late game when you fight legendary and very hard mobs. I've yet to need a decrease to bomb throwing or 10% increase to critical hit damage, at least while slaying medium and hard mobs. Oh, and let's not forget the uber hype acquired tolerance that comes unlocked after learning cat. So yeah, let's go ahead and learn cat as a prerequisite. In the signs tree, we unlock focus and art sign. I hate to sound so biased, but in my opinion, focus is insanely good. Up to 60% slowdown time whilst casting signs is essential to anyone. Basically allows you to ensure that you will never trade with a mob while casting, and when paired with Ard, you can get a lot of extra swings between being attacked. Ard sign is the new kinetic sign you unlock for your Witcher. It's casted with an open triangle, and once casted will delay the monster's next attack by one second. It seems to be low damage, but let's be honest, we aren't using it for damage, we are using it for the control. One important detail I left out in my previous video was that the sign's casting QTE is sort of lax. You can get away with both drawing a shitty version of the sign as well as an uber tiny sign. Drawing a smaller sign is way quicker than a larger medium sign, and as for the sign design, I've drawn what looks like a backward C and still procced art. Once I hit level 10, I've been able to slay mobs easier with my new skills. A medium level mob I can slay by only spending a swift potion, no bomber oil. I can also even get away with using a thunderbolt potion only, but I have to land every parry and also do perfect parry 80% of the time. So there you have it. When you hit level 10, you can interact with some scary ass bleeding tree and learn some new skills. Tree Nemeton has a cap of three times a day, each giving 50 gold. So if you use a blood bait, you technically only pay 150 gold upon completion, as well it seems to be a better chance of fighting new mobs. As always, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and a comment and stay safe out there. Happy monster hunting.